Thank you, Sarah. Sure. My name is Donna Brown Vigo. I'm the executive director of the Massachusetts chapter of NARO. Um, we are a member service organization, uh, a state chapter of a national organization. We represent the 242 public housing authorities here in Massachusetts. I'm just gonna give a quick one minute overview of um, our membership, and then I will turn it over to um, the three folks who work at housing authorities so they can share with you um, their careers and, and how they like working at a housing authority. And I'm just gonna share my screen uh, with a couple of slides. So you'll hear from our um, representatives of the housing authorities. Um, we wanted to come to this job fair to kind of express the fact that um, we really think working at a housing authority is a career where you can make a difference. Um, and several of our members um, started from entry level positions. So it's also a way to learn a skill set that you can carry through your life. So just quickly a little bit about our membership. As I said, there are 242 public housing authorities across the Commonwealth. Um, so there are many different kinds of jobs in ranging from all over the state of Massachusetts. Our members, the 242 housing authorities, manage a $12 billion portfolio. This is a very precious um, asset to the state of Massachusetts. As you can see, there's over 150,000 units and rental assistance vouchers in this portfolio. Our housing authorities range in size from as small as 10 units to as big as the Boston Housing Authority that has over 20,000 units and everything in between. They also range in sizes of staffing, as small as one and a half, a full-time um, maintenance person and a part-time director, to as big as more than 300 employees, ranging in all different areas. These housing authorities provide safe, decent, and affordable housing for more than 200,000 of the Commonwealth's low-income families, elderly, disabled, and veterans. And I just wanted to show a couple of slides and our, our representatives will get into this a little bit more, but there is a wide range of potential jobs um, available at housing authorities, regardless of the size. In the management level, there's executive directors, finance, IT, if you're a computer specialist, human resources, public relations, and entry level administrative positions. There are specific jobs um, for housing authorities, resident service coordinators, um, social work types of functions, tenant selections, program coordinators. These are actual pictures from some of our housing authorities events and, and activities. There's capital planning. A lot of our housing authorities are building new units, which is badly needed in the Commonwealth. Property management, housing inspectors, security officers. And then there's the maintenance side, maintenance supervisor, plumbers, electricians, the trades kinds of jobs badly needed in this industry um, and a great way to get into that kind of a job. These jobs, you're considered public employees, so there's an excellent benefit package, um, a public pension, that's a huge benefit. Uh, there's a great health insurance plan for public employees. And some housing authorities offer professional development training for their staff other kinds of insurance coverages, tuition reimbursement, and some of the maintenance positions have overtime pay potential. So a great benefit package and our representatives can get into that a little bit more. And I just want to encourage, um, and Sarah will tell you how at the end as well, but if you visit our webpage um, periodically, all of these housing authorities are posting all of these different kinds of jobs. So if you want Going forward, make sure that you check out our webpage at massnarrow.org. There's a classified link there. So I will now turn this over to David Hedison, who is actually currently the president of our association. Um, and he's the executive director of the Chelmsford Housing Authority. Good morning, David. Good morning. Thank you so much, Donna, and welcome to all the attendees. My name is David Hedison. I am the director of the Chelmsford Housing Authority and our affiliate nonprofit, Choice Inc. So I'm 49 years old and I've been in the housing industry since I was 16 years old. So I entered, um, I took uh, an entry level position when I was in high school. And uh, my goal was to go through undergrad, graduate school and work 
for a large international company. That was my dream. Instead, I entered as an entry level position at a housing authority that only had two and a half employees. And when I finished graduate school, with my seven years of having worked there over the summers, I actually became a director at age 24. Fast forward 33, well, 25 years later, we have over 45 employees, we have over 1400 units. And as a young person coming into an organization, I was able to grow, learn, and take advantage of like the training I received to continue to grow within our organization. So now we have 48 employees and we're constantly looking for new hires. We just recently added four new positions and the individuals coming to us don't all have housing experience. What they possess is a desire to learn, to make a difference, to work hard, and to be teachable. And as I say to all my um, new hires, this is a place where if you dedicate yourself to the benefit of others, show up on time, know how to do math, are responsible, um, you have the ability to be, you know, to be part of an organization that will make a difference in the lives of others. And also when the time comes, you'll be able to have a pension if you retire through one of our organizations. I'm 49 and realistically, probably within six to seven years, I will be retiring with the pension. And it's unlike a lot of places around the United States that I'll be guaranteed not only social, not social security, but a pension that will be very comfortable so I can live out my years um, safe. And I will know that I have made a difference. Some of my employees, I'll wrap this up really quick because I don't want to talk too long, is I have brought in people um, that were participants of our programs that now are the director of our 800 voucher program, 800 units of vouchers. We have someone um, that came in as the admin who is our assistant director of finance now. Um, we just brought on two um, new employees and they said, will you help us grow? And we do offer professional development. Even though we're Chelmsford, we have units in Chelmsford, Westford, Harvard, Shirley, Devons, and we even go beyond our borders. So we do have one job right now open and listed um, with virtual you know, jobs in MA and also on the Mass NARO website. We, I encourage you to learn about us, explore, and of the 240 plus housing authorities, each of us are slightly different, but there's always opportunities that come up. Take a chance, get to know us. You'll love your job. Thanks. Okay, David, I think you were supposed to say, and now it's my turn. <laughs> well, I'm gonna turn it over to Connie Desbians. Thank you. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to all of you who are watching us. Um, I have a similar story to David. I started off um, at the Housing Authority almost 30 years ago as a bookkeeper slash uh, secretary. Um, I was also a single mom at the time. Through Massonaro, I received a scholarship to go to college and finish my associate's degree in accounting. From there, I proceeded to uh, become an executive director, part-time executive director in another town. I uh, left there, became a full-time executive director in my original housing authority. Left there over a couple of years and I'm now presently at the Dartmouth Housing Authority. Um, we also manage the Swansea Housing Authority. We have several programs. Um, I also have two nonprofits that we work with um, that we've created. We have built uh, nine units of veterans housing and we're about to build 10 units of elderly housing for uh, the elderly with disabilities. This industry is ever changing and it is probably one of the most uh, fruitful things that I've done. There's something to be said about leaving at the end of the day and knowing that you have um, helped someone, you've housed someone, you've listened to someone. And in this day of COVID, it has been extremely uh, challenging. But at the end of the day, I really feel good about what I've done. I've um, coming up to retirement. I have, yay, 22 more months left to go. And one of the things that we are really concerned about is 
people who are going to come up and step up and take our places. Our industry is coming to that age where there's probably, I'd say, a dozen of us who are on our way uh, within the next three to five years. And we want eager people to come in and step in our shoes and continue doing the good work that we do. It's, is it stressful? Absolutely. But again, as I said at the end of the day, it's very, very, um, very, very fulfilling. The other thing that I can say is we need people in all of the departments. We need maintenance men. Our maintenance men are also aging. Um, I, for one, am going to be looking for a maintenance man. I'm probably going to be looking for a couple of admin staff. Um, I have not yet posted it because we're waiting for COVID to kind of close down, uh, quiet down, excuse me, a little bit. But again, we, we have, and we always say this amongst ourselves, we have the strongest group, the most intimate group of people as executive directors. We lean on one another. We're there for one another. Our staffs intermingle. If we have problems, we call a neighboring housing authority, somebody comes over. It's, it's really a good organization, and I would love so much for someone out there to say, hey, this is where I'd like to be. We're always looking for interns at the Dartmouth Housing Authority, so if you're nearby and I'm interested in doing an, um, an internship, please let us know. And I'll only add one other thing. Uh, David said that you know we get great pensions, but we also get health insurance for the rest of our lives. And that is a huge, huge benefit in today's day and age. So that being said, please join us. Uh, we'd love to have you on board. And I would now like to turn it over to Lily Fiore. She is the management aide of the Southeast Regional Capital Assessment, I'm sorry, Assistance Team. And she's from the Taunton Housing Authority. Good morning, Lily. Good morning, Connie, thank you. And uh, hello, everyone. I started working at Taunton Housing as an intern. And that was my sophomore year at Wheaton College. And that was around three years ago. So I started working entry level as an intern and then they had me working for different facets of the company. I started out in the main office where I was helping all the residents with housing selection process and helping them with the applications when they would come in. And then they had me working for the maintenance office which showed me what goes into maintaining these sites and how to keep these units self, uh, safe and secure. So then I started working with two social work employees, which one assists the elderly residents and the other that runs the family self-sufficiency program, as well as the home ownership program. I was able to help run events such as health fairs, which gave a lot of the elderly residents um, resources and then for the family self-sufficiency program and the homeownership program, I was able to meet these residents in person and see how important these programs are. These programs gave them the opportunity to go back to school, to create financial stability, and eventually buy a home for, these, for their families. And then I was able, after graduating, they hired me on full time. So throughout college, I was working part time, going in once a week, and then they hired me into the Southeast RCAT division, which I assist the management staff with any projects they might need help with. And then they directly focus on uh, preserving and improving the conditions of state public housing. So you see how important these programs are because they're changing and helping update um, these buildings that these people need to live in. So I seen how important these programs are working firsthand and currently there's a storekeeper position which you will be working in the maintenance office and they need someone to do filing processing maintaining records and operating the control systems and a lot of that information is on the Taunton website so if you need any more information it's up there thank you thank you all Thanks, Thank everybody. you. Have a great day. Good luck, everyone. Bye-bye.